Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today. And our first topic of the video, Citello exposes Andy Limpisani. So Durban based DJ Citello broke the internet last evening after she shared pictures of her battered and bruised face on her Instagram account, reigniting the conversation around violence against women, children in South Africa. Now the DJ has finally broken her silence over the alleged domestic violence that she suffered at the hands of her baby daddy Andy Limpisane who is the son of businesswoman Sean Mkise. Now Andile and Stelo called it quits a couple of months ago, well last year, before Andile got married to his wife Tamiya Mpisane, whom he shares a baby with. Now of course at the time many people actually wondered why, myself included, why the couple split while well, Stelo seems to finally be ready to spill all those beans. So Stelo hosted a question and answer session on her Instagram account and she responded to a lot of burning issues. Now Stelo was asked what lessons she took away from her relationship with Andile and she then made the shocking allegations. Now she also shared an audio conversation which we would assume she had with Andy Limpisane where it sounds like he is denying her access to her babies. Now the former lovebirds do have two children together. So let's take a listen to that clip real quick. <laughs> So yeah, there you have heard it yourself in those particular clips. Uh, you will never get that baby. I will hit you. You will have nothing. You always beneath me. You will die with nothing. Some uh, very harsh words in there to a baby mama. Now Stello says that she has been silenced for far too long and she is now ready to tell the world what transpired in her relationship with Andile. She posted, I'm not one to speak about anything concerning my private life, more especially where my kids are involved. But everyone has a breaking point and this narrative has gone too far. I have been silent for far too long and hid my truth for the sake of my peace but today I will not be silenced. So going back to Twitter, a user actually posted the following thread. Is Citello being threatened by Andile? Her latest story suggests that her baby daddy, Andile Mpisane, is organizing a hit on her. Now there's a screenshot, it's got a question mark. What do you want? Call me ASAP. I will find you, just give me today. The next tweet reads, Citello also shared a recording of her and Andile's call. Looks like it happened today. That's the call that we played earlier. The thread goes on to read, I might not be a fan of Stello, but this is scary. I hope she is safe wherever she is. The next tweet reads, Citello just shared that she's been quiet for far too long and hid the truth, but she won't be doing that anymore. Now the other screenshot over there, as you can see, it reads, uh, that is from the previous one. I will find you, just give me today. And and then uh, the thumbs up emoji, where are you? I want to speak to you. I'm sorry about how I spoke. I uh, didn't mean everything I said. I was angry about something else. Then I saw your message and called. Sorry, can I please speak to you? Now there's another screenshot that reads, let's start with when I was beaten into a pulp and had a miscarriage at the hands of my so-called victim in a room full of his family and friends. Rushed to the nearest hospital and treated like nothing ever happened. Now Stella also shares pictures of the beatings she got from Andile. So over there is a broken phone. Uh, there's uh, I think a bruise on her cheek here. There's also some bruising on her lip over there. And I believe that is her arm or a body part somewhere. And there's a caption on that that reads, Or oh, should I speak about the beatings I'd get every week or a monthly followed by a bunch of flowers so I'd never speak out. The next screenshots, you all mocked me and made a ridicule out of when I was left with a three month old child but little did you know that was my break free from an endless pain. That was God saving me from eventually taking my own life. Nothing has been more liberating. I saw God's hand in my most vulnerable place. Next screenshots, I'm getting to the facades you and your family paint and how everything has been concealed thus far. 
Now, Stella also shares that she had seeked psychological help for Andy Lip because not one person around him cares to intervene. There's a clinical psychologist report over there. That one reads, are we going to talk about how I had to be the one seeking psychological help for you because of how tired I was of the continuous abuse and nobody around you can ever reprimand your reckless behavior. And the next screenshot reads, let's see you make it out alive. Who makes it out alive? Now there's a reply to this one. It reads, if there's one thing I don't need, it's this drama of yours in my life. Then the reply I'm assuming is Andile, I'm going to make your life very hard because you poking me, you're always angry, you're never happy, you never appreciate. You telling me why did you have children with me? You had the first child and you saw who I was and what I love and don't love. You always have a problem. You want love. You don't want to be spoiled. You don't want to live in a better place. You don't want your life to change. What is your problem really? Do me a favor and go to PMB today, please. There's a reply with a laughing emoji. You must think you control me. There's a K laughing emoji. If a court case is what you want, then it's fine. Let the game begin. You think court is a joke, I see. Yeah, and then let the game begin. All of this is apparently a game. So yeah, those are the screenshots uh, that were shared on social media and taking a look at some of the reactions on Twitter. One user wrote, Andile threatened to kill Stelo. Nota said Michali can be killed. Clearly, we as South African men have bigger issues to discuss at men's conferences because this can't go on. I agree with that. Uh, yeah, a lot of anger out there. Another user wrote, Stelo did well by recording those calls between her and Andile. If she would have come out with these allegations without proof, men would have labeled her an angry baby mama. Agreed as well. Another user wrote, What you guys need to understand is that we are not groupies, Tina. We deal with one wrong party at a time. Stella was wrong for sleeping with a 17-year-old and we called her out for that. Now Andile is wrong and he must be called out. Another user wrote, wait a minute, so Andile was beating Stelo the whole time and caused a miscarriage the whole time Stelo was a victim of abuse. Those gifts she was getting were apology gifts. Do you see how dangerous it is to sub a well social media life? Men are so scary. Not all men, of course, but I do hear you over there. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the story of Stelo exposing Andy Lempisane. Do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this whole particular exposing of Andy Lempisane and his violent and abusive behaviors. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Nota Baloy says Michelle and Damase remarks were taken out of context. So music exec Nota Baloy has cleared the air about remarks on a podcast that has landed him in some hot waters on the Twitter timeline. Now, Nota hurled some insults at YouTuber and beauty influencer Michali. We did a video about it yesterday. You know, um, the Michalis of this world. I mean, like, imagine, like, imagine there's some guys who think a Michali is attractive. And all I think is that I'm tang. And they don't understand that if Michali is for sale, that means she's an object, which means you can kill her if you want to. I mean, you know, it's like buying a dog. You can put it down. Yeah. And I, 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 when I but yeah, Michali was at the receiving end of Nota's criticisms. And also do keep in mind that Michali keeps popping up on social media. Allegedly, she is dating a married man. But according to Chisa Live, they actually have a statement from Nota that reads as follows. I have nothing to say against Michali. I have no personal issues against Michali. My statement were taken out of context. What I was speaking about was in the context of objectification, women in South Africa and how it can have deadly consequences. The last thing I would want to read in the headlines is that someone has taken Michali's life because she said she has a 30,000 rand a month girlfriend allowance. 
Now, it also does seem that Nota does not think that his comments about referring to Michali as a dog were irresponsible. He goes on to say, there is no other way to put it. The people that have got an issue with what I said are people who want to exploit women, who want to traffic women, and who want to ensure that women continue to be abused. It is very widely known that I have been very critical of abuse. I have spoken out against abuse to my own personal detriment many times. I have been sued for calling out abuse. I have faced the lawsuits I have been. Look, I will say this when it comes to the comment section of my yesterday video, it's kind of 50-50. You know, a lot of people do agree with Nota. A lot of people do disagree. Some people are saying it's just the word, the analogies he used. And perhaps maybe he went a little bit far when he talked about putting her down like a dog. But it does seem a majority of people do agree with what Nota Baloy said. So yeah, he's come out and said that his remarks were taken out of context. Do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about that. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.